Hey, my earth signs. What's going on, my collective family? This is going to be for my earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Hey, y'all. Hey. Let's go ahead and tap into the overall energy surrounding you guys. First, we're going to get a quick message to see what the blockages might be that are on your path. Let's see if there's anything that you need to focus on right now. Let's see. Check on your blockages. So let's do blockages for Earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo energy. Hey, y'all. Hey. I hope everybody is feeling amazing. Y'all see that? <laughs> and they mad. Okay. They are mad about it. Okay. You guys are getting your money, okay? You're doing well for yourself. Stability, security, financial advancement. And you have envy around you. People are watching you. They're not happy about it. Somebody's feeling bad that they didn't get a chance to move over with you to the other side, baby, to the wealthy place. Feeling good. And look, people are pissed, all right? Adversity. But you're accepting that the challenges are the best way to learn. You're not letting it break you, okay? You're under honestly, you're letting your haters and whoever is against you and your naysayers motivate you. People are not meant to always understand who you are and how you move and where you're coming from. Like, honestly, don't worry yourself with the people who can't embrace you. They're they're beneath you. And I'm not saying that to make you feel like you should look and think you're better than anybody. Nobody's better than anybody, but the people who choose to operate in a lower vibrational frequency, they're stuck, they're stagnant, and it might look like they're winning, but baby, they are wrecked inside. So you don't even have to compare yourself to that. Don't ever, don't ever compare yourself to that. You continue to rise above all the naysayers and the negative energy and uh, baby, self-esteem on a million. All right, let's go earth signs. Let's see what's going on here. It's always a hater hating on the earth sign just because you bring stability, you bring loyalty and love into the picture. And not only that, you're really good at everything you decide to do. So people are side eyeing you like, mm. sometimes earth signs even compete with each other. It's okay. Keep doing your thing. Spirit, show me what blockages are here from my earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo energy. What do they need to be aware of? All right, a lot of you are in jobs of service and adversity is here. Not everybody understands you. Not everybody can sit with you. Not everybody vibes with your energy. And that's okay, baby, because you're on the stairway to success. For a lot of you guys, you could be in the medical field, in my corporate office buildings, wherever it is that people need help, people, um, people need service. You are there for a lot of you guys. And a lot of you guys could definitely be working with the public, all right? You could even be your own um, boss, self-made boss, and entrepreneur energy. And you could have a lot of different relationships and a lot of different energies around you. Um, it looks like somebody is working in a place where there are several different personalities. So there's bound to be some type of clash of energy, um, misconceptions, misunderstandings, miscommunications, and adversity. All right. But I see you standing firm. You're feeling good when you're able to use your gifts of service. You're a master problem solver. So you want to help people come to conclusions come to grips with reality you want to help people find their way all right you have the ideas you have the power to do it so you don't mind helping especially baby if it's a dollar involved oh virgo taurus capricorn you like oh we we will consider it all right it's nothing wrong with the hard-earned living and it's natural for you so you're like okay i'm already naturally this way let me use my gifts for good and also use them to bring me a bag okay you guys are doing that so like i was saying a lot of you guys are um doing acts of service you are helping others you're working with the community i kind of bunched my curtain all up yeah but this is what you're doing this is what you feel comfortable doing so success is inevitable for you you're working hard you're elevating and for some of you guys if you're not in a position where you can move up the ladder you're doing that you're going to be like your hard work is paying off all right and you are it's room for growth in your energy in some form or fashion and so spirit is aligning you with that okay so if you're having a few changes in your work energy and your workplace or whatever is happening and all of a sudden there may be some problems spirit is taking you out of your comfort zone because it's time for you to get so much more i feel like you're going to be doing so much better and for some of you guys you don't have to leave what you're doing but you have that energy of expansion around you. So you're about to be expanding. So get ready for that. Trust the process, okay? And trust your intuition. It hasn't stared you wrong yet. And you're going to continue to move on the right path. It says, trust that my intuition will guide me um, correctly. And this has to do everything with the people around you, the business opportunities, 
and how to get to that place of success that you're reaching for. Everybody is different for everyone, okay? But um, this is what Spirit wants you to know, all right? This is some of the things that are going on in your energy, um, things that may be blockages if you don't understand how to maneuver through, all right? So somebody here needs to trust their intuition, all right? And know that success is inevitable. Acts of service and jobs of service is where you will, th where you will really thrive, okay? Um, and adversity, when it comes to it, accept that challenges are the best ways to learn. You're learning, you're growing, you're elevating, okay? So use the adversity and people that's coming up against you as stepping stones to get to where you really want to be. Um, and whatever you're going to be doing, it's going to involve you being able to control your thoughts, your actions, and your feelings and emotions when it comes to differences in people, all right? So... Let's go, Earth signs. Okay, good. All right, let's see what else Spirit wants to tell you today. Let's see what energies you need to be aware of that may be um, surrounding you. What energies do the Earth signs need to be aware of? What's surrounding my Earth signs on today, Spirit? Show me Holy Spirit. Holy angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, thank you for your divine love, light, and positive energy. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your divine hand of protection around us. We only rock with the light, okay? Thank you for allowing us to draw from your divine realm of love, wisdom, guidance, and light. Spiritual protection. Thank you so much for blocking and bonding all negative energy. Monitoring spirits, familiar spirits and unfamiliar spirits. Any type of negative energy coming up against your divine will for our lives and trying to block or hinder our growth, success, or income. Um, we thank you for healing in our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. Victory in every situation we may face. And most of all, continue to let our abundance overflow, overflow, overflow. Amen. All right, y'all. Let's see. For the earth signs, what do they need to know? Surrounding energy, please. For my earth signs. Surrounding energy for my earth signs. Mm. Let's see what's going on. Whew. These cards are something else. Okay. Next level, though. You learning a lot. Some of y'all are wondering why everything has been so turbulent. You could have been, really been experiencing some hard times or some challenges. And you're wondering why things have been so turbulent. Well, you're at the brink of closing a very important cycle in your life and elevating to the next level. All right. So a lot of things may seem like they're getting kind of sketchy or things are changing at a rapid pace. You could be meeting people and seeming like people are in and out of your lives because you're learning quick lessons. You're learning lessons really quick. That's going to help you on this elevation on the next level. Okay. So let's see exactly what this is. The spirit is trying to tell you that's surrounding you. First of all, we need to make sure that we all are aware that these are spiritual battles that we come against, okay? Um, any vessel that is open to be used by the negative energies that are looming around will be used against you, okay? Whoever is available, all right? Whoever will submit to the negative thinking, the low vibrations, and the negative thoughts and actions, they will be used by the enemy to come against you and confuse you. So Spirit wants you to know... It's time for you to be spiritually strong and trusting your intuition and your discernment that God gave you because you're experiencing spiritual tests right now. It says you're on the path to discover your spiritual gifts so that you may grow and evolve spiritually, inner work, awareness, and calling. So some of you that know that you are star seeds, a lot of you are star seeds, you're high priests, high priestesses. That means God is with you and you've been chosen to do an assignment. For a lot of you guys that are watching me, Spirit wants you to know that you're about to experience several spiritual tests. And this is to this is to not only um, empower you, this is to also make you aware of who you are and how powerful you are spiritually. Some of you guys need to be using your healing power on yourselves. Some of you guys need to be using your intuition to maneuver through these situations so you can be um, abundant. A lot of you guys, it's some of you out there that don't, are, that are not aware and you don't use your spiritual gifts. You don't use the gifts that God gave you in order to be um, successful and healed and whole and um, wealthy. All right. But you do have gifts. All right. Not only that, 
A lot of you guys are prayer warriors and natural healers. When I say natural healers, you have the power to heal others. All right. So spirit is definitely awakening you. So this is definitely an awakening time in your life and a time for level up. You're going to the next level. So those of you who have been doing the inner work, those of you who have been doing the spiritual work, get ready to be elevated because God is about to show you some things about yourself. All right. And change some of your circumstances. All right. We got magnetism here. So a magnetic force surrounds you. You are being given, it says you are being give, given the power to manifest your dreams into reality. Drawing, persuasion, and power. All right, see, this is you walking through that door, accepting the call, acknowledging who you are in the spiritual realm and walking into your new opportunities. All right, this is you being pulled and this is exactly what spirit is telling you. This is, this is what these spiritual tests are doing. And for a lot of you, it could be people that you least expect turning on you. People that just come along and start taunting you and being disrespectful or challenging you for no reason. People that make you feel unwanted or unwelcomed or whatever the case may be. But this is a spiritual test to let you know. First of all, you fear no man. Second of all, the power in you is far greater than any power they can exercise over you. So you have to learn how to be confident and walk in that. And then thirdly, it's a test of your faith to see if you're going to fold. Are you going to reduce yourself to the negative energies that come around you and come towards you? Or are you going to rise higher, expand your consciousness and awareness and shine even brighter and show them? you know, who you are, but by your actions. Some of the time, the actions that show them is digressing, not even in engaging because you're not going to come down off your throne to engage in any foolishness. All right. All right, y'all. So um, next, unclear path. Step by step, keep going and it will lead you to your destinations. You might not have considered all right, unknown and hidden blessings. God is doing something in your life. This is what I'm telling you, y'all. You're getting leveled up and you might not even be aware of it. It's like because you're so busy trying to master the path that you're on and God is busy trying to redirect you to the path that, that is really meant for you. Somewhere where you can really be fruitful and multiply. This is just a stepping stone where you are. This is not the end of your story. This is just the beginning. If you found this video and you're finding me and you're watching me, this is only the beginning. This step that led you to tarot and led you to find out who you really are spiritually was only the beginning. And some people that are still watching tarot after you already have elevated because you see how God is speaking to you through it. Um, you guys are watching and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. This is just the beginning. Spirit is doing some amazing things in your life and you finding out who you are spiritually and owning your power and learning more about yourself in the 5D world and who you are in your lineage and how strong you are and what type of ancestral blood runs through your veins. Baby, this is what elevates you to be the beast that you are meant to be, okay? And I mean that in every positive way possible, all right? Poor choices. Think again before making any decisions at this time. Caution is needed. There's a hidden problem. Warning, reconsider and know. So if you're thinking about making a decision or choosing to do something, you need to take caution. Um, whatever this is, we're going to try to uncover the hidden problem. We got unlikely source. It says wonderful things can happen. Everything around, um, it says in everything around you, even from some of the most unexpected sources, unexpected and unconsidered. So something is going to happen that is going to surprise you. Um, you're not considering something, but it's going to come right to your doorstep and it's going to be something that brings you a lot of success. All right. This is going to bring you a lot of success and happiness. But right now, some of you guys, whatever this choice is that you're planning on making, pause. Let's find out what this is real quick. Let's get the tarot and see exactly what this poor choice is that you may be considering. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and God, show me clear messages. What is this poor choice that's coming out for the earth signs? Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. What is this poor choice? Something that could seem good, but it's darkness. What is this poor choice? Show me the poor choice for Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Suspense. You could be thinking about going towards something that is stagnant. 
Something about the hangman energy. Something being in suspense. So it's something that you need to think about. Before you make the decision to do it, you need to take your time and think about it with this hangman energy. It's talking about a temporary pause and letting go. It's like, it's something that where you need to contemplate or, or identify exactly what you might need um, before you go on your journey, before the next phase. Show me more, please, with the suspended one. What is this poor choice? What is this poor choice? This could have something to do with a Sagittarius. So you could be thinking about, and we got the Queen of Pentacles here. I love these cards. They're so beautiful. Um, we got the Queen of Pentacles here. We have the Five of Swords here and the Six of Swords. So whatever poor choice it is, it has something to do with you thinking before you act, thinking before you speak, and you might want to move away from this competition or whatever this is. It's some type of battle, some type of fight. It could be something in the field. I feel like this has something to do with you and other people. Somebody willing to do whatever it takes to win. It's something here that you may be considering. And Spirit is saying it's not the brightest idea. Move away from conflict. If somebody is saying something or somebody is doing something, you want to move away from that. From the five of swords in battle, in the field, going at somebody. Spirit is saying think that through. Don't engage. So if somebody is trying to get a reaction out of you or they're trying to get you to do something or say something, don't engage. All right. Don't lower your standards. Don't lower your energy. Don't lower your vibration to engage in anything like that. All right. With this queen of pentacles energy, it could have something to do with another Taurus Capricorn or Virgo. But I feel like this is you moving past conflict or whatever this is. So if you're thinking about going at somebody or saying something to somebody because somebody did something to you. Spirit is telling you to move away from that. It's like if you move away from this and just close this cycle completely, you'll get justice. So whatever this is that you're thinking about doing, just don't engage. You've learned this spiritual lesson. That's what the world is signifying. You know exactly what's going on here. You're very in tune to the universe and you can feel what you need to do here. And it's basically telling you to just move away from conflict. Don't engage with somebody. Don't let anybody encourage you to make poor choices just because they are. Um, with this justice, something good, something great is going to come out of this situation. Something good is. And if it's somebody that's coming towards you with an offer, don't take the offer. It's something about somebody coming towards you with some type of offer that you need to reject. Okay? Okay. All right, let's see what this unclear path is for Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra, Aries, um, Taurus, Capricorn, or another Virgo. Somebody could be dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this is definitely talking about you moving away from conflict. So if somebody is starting something with you, as tempted as it is for you to off, um, answer or speak up or argue with this person, don't do it. Show me unclear path. Time to make a decision time to make a decision the two of wands in reverse shows you finally making a decision after being unclear of what to do um you're coming out of that energy of being unsure all right and this signifies you using your intuition to guide you to what the next step needs to be somebody that was blocked is also being unblocked now show me the two of swords i like this this was a spiritual message Page of Swords energy. Somebody is deciding to come towards you and talk to you, or this is you finding out some information. Something that once you were you were once unclear about, now you have clarity about that situation. This could also be somebody initiating conversation, deciding to ask you something or talk to you. This could also be a bit of drama. A bit of drama here. Definitely somebody bringing drama. Somebody bringing a message this could be like a bone carrier somebody instigating show me magnetism magnetic source so this talks about your investments this talks about the fruits of your labor you really um being able to capitalize on the things that you have been invested in this is talking about the things that you've been working towards coming into fruition 
All right. This is talking about patience to succeed and being diligent. All right. But you're starting to see the fruits of your labor. All right. With this magnetism energy, this is you going through that door of blessings, things really happening for you. So your life is about to change and it's important for you to be ready for this. Because this is powerful, okay? A lot of these energies here are very powerful. And spirit is guiding you away from conflict, away from battle and defeat. You got to think higher and keep your vibrations high so you can be able to walk through these doors. Spiritual test. That's all it is. It's a spiritual battle, right? And you're starting to realize that more and more. Show me one on the side of the pinnacle. The moon. This is you. Maybe um, something being illuminated to you. Because um, I feel like this is hidden. This new door. This new opportunity. What you have coming towards you is hidden. It's like you don't see this coming. But now it's about to be illuminated to you. You're about to see everything that you need to see. All of the pieces are going to come together. So it's like you're getting the last pieces of the puzzle. Before you really have this major level up. And be able to move to the next level. You're going to be able to explore your options. Spirit is saying, take your time and explore your options carefully. Because look, you have one last move. It says, you have come far on your path, on your journey. Keep going and you will soon see what you have accomplished. So you're almost there. You're almost there, y'all. So don't stop, Earth Signs. Keep going. Spirit has a special surprise for you. God is definitely about to bless you big. And you're gonna not. you're not going to regret this. You're going to be happy that you did not quit. Ten of Pentacles, spiritual test. For some of you guys, you've been tested mainly with your family or with um, your relationship. Somebody could be in a marriage or a family that is a bit dysfunctional or seeming a bit dysfunctional. Um, you've, been, you've been tested. You're being tested with these relationships with these people. Some of you guys have been tested to see how diligent you are when it comes to your money. How invested you are in this situation with a community, a family, this could be your work community, but it has something to do with longevity and your investments and your financial well-being, okay? Um, but you are showing that you're diligent, you're a hard worker, and you believe in investing for the long term. You believe in unity, love, and family, and you'll do what it takes to make sure that you're doing your part to hold the family together, whether it's work or whatever. You do bring stability, and you do care about the people that are around you, and you understand that not everybody is on the same path when it comes to being spiritual or being positive or being high vibration. People learn at different stages. And I feel like you're, em you're embracing these lessons. This is why you're being blessed. This is why. And this is what you have coming towards you. The Ten of Pentacles. Everything that you ever hoped for. Your dreams are about to come true. These, these, this is stuff that you've been working for for a very long time. Stand your ground. Stand up for what you believe in and don't quit. You're going to get it. You're already there. All right? You are already there. You got the angel of balance here balancing everything out for you. Your prayers are heard. And not only are they heard, they're being answered. And you're about to walk into this new path and this new place in your life where nothing can stop you. Nothing is going to be able to change your mind about the fact that God has walked you through this thing. You don't look like anything like what you've been through. And now you're about to look so much better. Everything that you've been hoping for is about to come to you. So y'all get ready for this amazing breakthrough. Something good is about to come in. It's going gonna, it's gonna to blow your mind. You don't see this coming. God is about to shock you. All right, so y'all get ready for this blessing. I'm sending you love, light, and positive energy. If you want to book a reading, book it at closer to number two, mydestiny.com. And until the next time, my loves, take care of yourselves. Love on me in the comments and get ready.